Good morning, everybody. Happy New Year. Today is January 3rd. I hope you guys are having a great year so far. So today is Monday. Uh, hopefully, we are going to back to regular schedule from now on. Uh, it's about so we go live between like eight at nine a.m. Uh, in Arizona time. So I mean, I mean, I, I like to keep it, you know, between eight and nine. So hopefully, we have some consistency coming year. Anyway, uh, if you are new to the channel, uh, welcome to our daily. Uh, I don't want to say daily, kind of like daily blogging. Let's put it that way, okay? Daily video blogging. We just hang out, make some coffee, and you know, I talk about the coffee products, coffee gadgets, and also let's not forget the coffees as well. So we are going to focus on the 2022. I think the last couple of years I really focus on the coffee gears and uh, coffee equipment, coffee tools, but you know what? This year, let's focus on the coffee, and also, you know, let's try to make better coffee at home. And let's not forget, it, okay? Even though I have like dual boiler or some, you know, I have some, you know, decent grinder at my shop, but at my home, uh, I do have a Bravo Barista Express and Pro as well. So uh, I'm planning on doing that on maybe on weekends too, and the weekends or maybe weekdays. So you know, we are going to kind of like trying to juggle both machines entry-level machines versus like high-end machines so so goal is for 2022 let's find a better coffee not the better coffee let's make some better coffee okay and also is there any difference in high-end machine versus kind of like entry-level machine i know some of you think that uh, you know brista express more like appliance i know but you know what it's okay you know, I mean, the fact is, those appliances makes great coffee at home. So, uh, we are going to play with all of them uh, this year as well. Uh, so, next few days and next couple of weeks, I have a big plan for you guys. So, so coming weeks, I'm planning on comparing optional P64 versus DF64. Okay, so you should be you should be a lot of fun. I cannot wait to. You know, share share that with you uh, coming days and coming weeks, and also we are going to put some shot as well this morning. Uh, I have leftover coffee from my coffee bracket challenge a couple weeks ago, so this one is number six on entry. So this is one of our friend Dane uh, sent us from uh, Australia. Uh, let's see, the roaster is a Prop Mary uh, Ghost Rider. That's the name of coffee beans. You know, coffee blend. Not in a coffee, you know, back, let's put it that way. And the Brazilian and Brazil and Ethiopia blend there. Milk chocolate. Let's see here. We have uh, uh, grapes, red grape. And what else? We have blueberry and syrupy. Okay. So this one did not make the cut. But, okay, I think, uh, let's see. Oh, goodness. Number three. So this coffee was uh, against the winner at the bracket Chinese. So it's a tough order, but uh, you know what? I, I remember the taste vividly, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put two shots. One from DF64 and one from P64. Uh, let's find out any, uh, you know, I mean, talk about the, you know, is there any flavor difference? Okay, let's talk about that. Uh, again, uh, we are planning on doing a lot of tests, okay? Coming weeks as well. Uh, let's talk. Uh, you know what? Let's let me show you guys the grinders. So this let, let's start with DF64. So this DF64. Big shout out to Joe, at Espresso Outlet. Oh, you can get from there. Uh, you are looking at 450 bucks shipped. Okay, 450 bucks shipped. Uh, comes with, I mean, 64 millimeter flat burr setup. Comes a design wise. Very similar to P64. So now we, you have a P64. Both single dose grinder as well. 64 millimeter uh, flat burr setup. Uh, comes to spec wise, very similar. Uh, the uh, P64 is slightly taller. Okay. Slightly taller, but DF64 is a little more uh, kind of like oversized. Let's put it that way little fatter more slicker okay but you know a lot slicker here uh, comes with the rpm controller 
and then power button to the right RPM control to the left the P64 uh, the power button is actually right below right here on the bottom okay and then you know let's you know let's do some let's find out which one is more noisier okay so this is the DF64 pretty loud P64 yeah very quiet okay and uh, so this one comes with SSP burst set with high uniformity so this one comes with a standard burst set so I know some of you think that it's not gonna be fair comparison okay but you know what it's okay because uh, because I uh, because I want to uh, try it out anyway I want to kind of like uh, kind of like show you guys the difference between workflow okay and then we are going to you know talk about the flavor profile you know down the road as well by the way I do have SSP burst set for DF64 so this is not a, a high uniformity this is a multi-purpose SSP burst set but it's gonna be very you know similar Again, we are getting nitpicky here, okay? High uniformity versus the uh, multi-purpose. But you know what? I mean, at this point, I don't care about that. You know, I mean, I want to see, okay? See the overall user experience. So uh, here's what we're gonna do. We are going to dial in uh, 18 gram each. And then uh, let's use uh, a little Bianca as our coffee machine. And I'm going to be using a uh, flow control as well because I have no idea what is the grinder size going to be. The flow control kind of like, you know, took care of that for us. Okay. And uh, so let's get going. So we're going to do 18 gram. Should be a lot of fun. By the way, I hope uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Make sure to join the live chat. Okay. We have a great group of community here. Our friends. We talk about coffee pretty much daily basis. So yeah, make sure to join the chat, introduce yourself, and I just have some fun, okay? Have some fun. If you have any questions or comment, I'm looking at the uh, chat room right now. I got my little monitor set up so I can monitor you guys. What are you guys talking about? So yeah, look like John is, uh, John has a question, let's see. Uh, what size basket is required for 18 gram dose with a puck screen 20 or 20, 20 you know what yeah a couple of gram you know, Melvin is right about a couple of gram more so if you if you are using 18 gram uh, 20 uh, 20 gram basket should be fine but if you're using lighter roast okay uh, 18 gram is okay as well okay 18 gram is fine too if you are using lighter roast darker roast definitely uh, you need a bigger basket for that if you're gonna dose, yeah, dose out 18 gram but lighter roast yeah it should be fine with 18 gram okay so let's start with uh, DF64 okay and uh, so I'm gonna do a couple different tests I'm gonna put 18 gram in uh, let's find out what's the retention is going to be and then uh, let's you know let's compare both as well okay let's pull up the camera So we got we got 18 gram there. Okay, so with DF64, it does comes with a bellow. After you're done, you just, you know, press a couple times. Get it out. I'm not using RDT method. RDT means the rust droplet technique. I'm not doing that for both of them. So you got 18 gram in and 18 gram out. Okay. 
I mean, it Bella does help. Okay, so let's uh, let's prepare the shot there. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna use my. Even though I'm using the spouted, I'm just gonna do quick WDT here. And then do some distribution. And today I think I'm gonna be using the, uh, the Bravo temper, okay? I do enjoy uh, using different kind of, okay. So, uh, so this is an 18 gram basket, folks. This is a uh, IMS 18 gram basket. Look at the head space there. I have plenty. So since this is a lighter roast, I can actually use the puck screen. Just gonna pop that thing in. So let's do a uh, one to two ratio, 18 gram in, around 40 gram out. Actually, you know what, hold on a second here. Uh, we have a recipe for this, okay? I have a recipe for that coffee. So around 45 gram as output, okay? So I'm gonna follow the Dane's instruction. All right, here we go. I'm just gonna pull the shot there. I'm around nine bar pressure at the moment. Going a little long, okay, about 42 seconds at 45 gram. I think the grinder is too fine, but you know what? Uh, let's try anyway, okay? Let's try anyway, because I hate to waste a good coffee but okay i'm gonna wait about a minute okay because it's still too hot right now so okay again so it comes to extraction is a little long but i have the right uh, uh output there so again so that's great thing about the flow control you can actually uh, control the flow and uh, you can save the shot okay it's not a perfect shot but close enough But with, uh, again, I know you guys are talking about the puck screen right now. Great thing about the puck screen, everything keep it clean. Everything's all nice and dry inside. Uh, you can get uh, quite a few puck screens out there. Again, you got a very nice puck screen. All right, so, okay, let's try this. So this is the Proud Mary from Australia. It's called Dark Ghost, I think. And then tasting note is red apple. What else? Chocolate. And uh, let's see, number six, uh, milk chocolate, red, uh, red grape, I'm sorry. Red grape and blueberry and syrup. So this is just a shot from DF64. Cheers, guys. Okay. Still good, okay. I thought it's gonna be over extracted for bitter taste, but it's not at all. Uh, t definitely red grapes. I can definitely taste that. Okay, good. All right, so let's move on to P64. 
Let's find out is there any taste difference there. Again. Uh, I'm kind of like guessing on the grinder size. We're going to do another 18 gram here. Okay, so one thing you have to remember. So I've been using DF64 for last year. It's been seasoned. Uh, I aligned it. So this is kind of like the align, you know, kind of loosely. I didn't exactly align properly, but you know, it's, it's about what, 90% aligned. Let's put it that way. Uh, P64, this is my uh, fifth shot, that's it, ever. Okay, it's gonna be fifth shot ever. I have not seasoned it yet, so. Let's find out, okay? I mean, this, this is seasoned, uh, DF64 seasoned. Is there any taste difference? Again, I'm not gonna do RDT. So I got 18 gram in. Okay. Okay, maybe I'll give, I'll give you guys a give you guys a close view here. I'm just gonna couple tap from the top. That's it. There's no bellow, just use my palm to get it out. So I got 18 gram in. Eighteen gram out, okay. I mean that's pretty good, I have to say. I'm pretty impressed. Not bad. All right, so let's prepare the puck here. Uh, just quick WDT. Plenty of the head space, so let's put puck screen on the top as well. All right. Okay. You got the same recipe around forty-five gram out, like last time. Okay, I'm just gonna go to full power and then start controlling the my pedal there. I, I like to do a nine bar pressure for now. Shooting for 45 gram. Took us about 25 seconds. Man, I got lucky on this one. I got lucky on that shot. Okay. So, so we got lucky, guys. Okay, I got lucky on the grinder setting. I mean, that's pretty much good as good. I got 25 seconds at 45 gram output. That's the what Dane put down on the recipe there. So, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean my palate. I 
By the way, this coffee is pretty old, okay? Because I went through the uh, bracket challenge about what three, four weeks ago. So they are shipped from all over the world. So I mean, these coffees are not fresh coffee beans. So I'm just gonna mix it well. Okay. Cheers. Okay, smells pretty good. Man. They're so smooth. Okay, yeah, yes, even though even though that one is a little over extracted, but I mean, whenever you taste something, you can actually see this is much better than others. As current setup, okay, this one is a lot more smooth, a lot more clear, okay? I can actually taste so much clear. Wow. I'm pretty impressed with so far, okay? So far, over our experience, P64 is much, okay, I know, big price difference, folks. So we are talking about $450 shipped, okay, from Espresso Outlet, okay, $450. I think, I think uh, Joe is still taking pre-order for that right now, $450. And if you want to upgrade to SSP, they cost you another, what, $180, let's say $200. Bucks. So you are looking at $650. 650 with SSP bar high uniformity if you're not upgraded. This one, I mean, if you go to, I think you have to go, if you are living in Canada, you have to go, you have to go through your uh, kind of like authorized uh, uh, coffee retailer there. If you are in the US, uh, you are looking at uh, what Prima Coffee serves it. And the Prima starts for seventeen hundred dollars, I think. Uh, let me check it out for you guys. Hold up. Okay, so let's see here. Okay, so right now, oh, here we go. So if you are okay, so let's start with the uh, DF sixty four. Okay, if you are living in US, uh, Joe is selling for four sixty five. Okay. Joey selling for 465 on his website. And uh, you can add high uniformity for 185, so 650. So 650 bucks for, uh, for DF64. If you're going to go with option O, you have to get it from uh, Prima Coffee. I got my computer set up right here. If you go to Crema, you got a free shipping. But the fact is, they're even sold out too. Okay, you can't even uh, you can't even get it. It's just like the F sixty four. You're looking at eighteen hundred bucks. I believe black one is a fifty dollars more. So you got eighteen hundred dollars. Uh, if you want to go with SSP, I think I think you have to pay extra on that. I'm not sure. But they they not even give you an option either. So I'm not sure what the option is going to be. But you are looking at $1,800 versus $650. So I'm really excited about, okay, right now. Okay, I'm, uh, I'm very excited about the installing SSP on... DF64, uh, I think uh, we should do that next couple of days. And the, I know it is a multi-purpose burst set, but still give us the kind of like pretty good baseline, okay? Pretty good baseline there. So anyway, uh, let's see. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. I'm looking at the live chat going on right now. So uh, uh, coming days, uh, we are going to, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of like remove the top, okay? show you guys the inside as well what's the i'm going to compare the beer quality for the both uh we are going to compare that okay both uh coffee grinder 
and uh, you know where you know kind of like you are going to see the why they are so expensive okay because the plastic versus the uh, the metal as well so it's, it's different build quality but is that worth thousand dollars more I mean hopefully in the next couple of weeks uh, after you guys watch my videos and uh, you guys are going to decide for yourself okay because by the way uh, this is not a sponsor video anything like that and uh, so this grinder I did buy this I bought the grinder but Joe sent me uh, DF64 for the review on my channel so uh, but again I mean you know kind of like see for yourself okay see for yourself anyway uh, I hope you guys are having a wonderful new year so far Hold on, I'm gonna check the chat room. Not a whole lot going on there. Let's see. And then, hold on a second. And again, we are going to do a lot of comparison, okay? We are, we are going to do uh, a lot of comparison between DF64 versus uh, P64. I mean, that's the, I was very curious about for last couple of years. Because uh, so P64 is about two years of making. Uh, because I find this grinder about three years ago I really wanted it and the two years ago start saving some money and yeah so finally happened okay so and the P6 uh, DF64 is very attractive price point goodness what kind of grinder you can spend what $650 with the SSP bar okay it's pretty hard to find it especially 60 around 60 millimeter the grinder markets are so competitive right now not only we have p64 df64 we have a niche grinder as well uh eureka oro just came out the single dose they are 63 millimeter uh let's see what else is around 60 millimeter uh we got uh, a fella ode is around 64 millimeter flapper so again the 60 millimeter market is a very competitive is fantastic i mean coffee is your hobby this is great time folks okay this is a lot of fun it's a lot of fun time here let's see where does the df65 plastic uh, someone asked me there uh let's see here i mean these are plastic on the top is the plastic uh what else uh, this is I'm not sure what that is the side panel the obviously the base is plastic but yeah I mean you know again I mean once you up I open it and you see uh, you, you, are, you are going to see clearly okay so let's do that next few days yeah uh, it should be it should be a lot of fun it should be a lot of fun anyway I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning and then I'm gonna jump into Instagram right now okay I'm gonna have Instagram and uh, if you have any questions or comment uh, let me know there uh, if not, I'm going to see you guys tomorrow morning.